What you're going to do is you're going to work your striking ability left and right. And you're going to work it first of all in the most comfortable way. The way that suits you. The best range, the best position of the target, the right position for you to stand. So it's going to be comfortable, right? You're going to work a variety of shots. You're going to work here. I'm going to work my palm over here, my palm over here. Then I might work back and forth slap, back and forth slap. Then I might work my palm, my hammer, palm, hammer. Then I might get the range, elbow, elbow. Basically, you're going to work palms, slaps, hammer fists, and elbows. But you're going to work them left and right. And you're going to set your man so it feels good mechanically. I want you to do the movement big and over excessive if you like, gross motor, so it feels nice. Right? Then what I'm going to do is make that comfortable, best position for you, totally fucking uncomfortable. So I'm going to bring him in here where he feeds me a target one at a time or both, and wherever he puts it is where I've got to hit it. <coughs> I can't manipulate, can't move, can't change nothing. So what you should feel now is a little bit uncomfortable, right? Yeah. But regardless of uncomfortable or comfortable, the goal is to make your uncomfortable striking position harder, stronger, and more efficient than when it was really comfortable, right? Yeah. So we're going to start. So you're going to start like this. So when you're going to feed me palms left and right, and slaps left and right, hammer fists left and right, and elbows. And you can feed them anywhere around my body, Good. right? So you just do it. Here. So notice I'm feeling, getting the best out. I want to hit from where I am, but I'm making sure the best mechanical position. Yeah? You do that, I can hit palm, palm, slap, slap, hammer, hammer, elbow, elbow. Let's get that going first, right? So let me have you here quick. Alright. From where you act, where you've got to hit. But what you can do is get your best measure. And shuffle your feet if you want. Right, let's say hammer fists and elbows. Good. Elbow. Elbow. Good. So that's what you do. Right? Get your kettlebell partner. Let's work back to here in this part of the jewelry. You've got as much time as you want to fix things. It's comfortable because it's lit. The ideal range, you're in the ideal position, etc, etc. Everything's good. So take your time and make every shot a really good, best shot. Off you go. Okay, right. We can make the same kind of range, first of all using the same tool. So wherever my position is and he moves, is where I put my hands, as long as they're higher than his waist, right? From here, he's going to feed me a palm strike structure that's less than ideal. And by less than ideal, I mean the range is fucking too close. It's an awkward position. Might not be my dominant side, etc. Right? And he's going to do that left first or right. So here, I've got to assess where I can hit from. Half the range. So I'd be better off now raising my elbows, keep a power line, and hit him with a horizontal type of structure, like so, which would beat this one. <clears throat> Because this time shot, it's a short shot. Mm. Because this is in here, right? So I want to figure that out. No, but regardless, me doing that feels a lot less comfortable <coughs> than that, yeah. doesn't it? And that's the idea. I want you to make it fucking uncomfortable. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So you can do that. Just play with it left and right for palms. Slap, <coughs> slap. Look at that bucket up. Here I'll probably go back and bit. Yeah? <coughs> back and forth. Yeah? Uh, here. So figure it out, but what you'll notice is, oh, I don't like that. Yeah. That's cramps, that's fucking pressure. Yeah? yeah? That's the idea. Because the conditions are always going to be less favourable to you. And where you're going to take this is, you're going to take it to a point where you're in a corner, maybe the light's off, low light, it's fucking environment, sun forgiving, whatever else. All the conditions are stacked against you, not for you. And I still want you to master good power. So remember what the goal is. The goal is to hear all your best shots to be able to hit equally as hard or better when I'm from this restriction. Right? This is the first time you're going into the restriction, so it feels awkward. What you can't do is this. Get measured. Your partner will make sure you don't. Right? Hit it best you can from where you're at. 
and we'll go from there. Yes? Yep. Okay. Good. So let's say, for example, he's given me this slap from here. I could go backhanded, yep. or I could go from here, tight handed from here. But what I haven't got the luxury of doing is, I don't that, because there's no room here. Or you imagine you're in a concrete box, and that's all you've got. So if I don't go outside the box of your shoulders, stay in it. So, come away from the wall, ideal range. No! No! Ideal. Hockey lesson ideal. No! Here again. No! 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 They feel the same. In order for them to feel the same, you have to spend a lot of time at restriction. Does that make sense? So, slap. No! No! Index with your lead hand. Good again. Restriction. So where is that? Imagine there's a ball here. Go on, do it. Again. From here. Again. Good. Right. Elbow. Again. Elbow. Again. Maybe straight up from here. Horizontal. Maybe cross this way. There you go. There's the shot. Big There's a need during restriction to break out the box. You know, the normal configuration doesn't necessarily fit. Here's an example. The elbow from here, yes. you want to use it this way, I'll be using it horizontal. Yes. Here, this one, cross this way. Yes. Over here. Yes. here. Now that's it. Yes. So now it's bringing it down, mm. isn't it? Right? Maybe here just as horizontal, yes. boom, maybe brings it diagonal. Yes. And over and down, yes. the same way. But it's going yes. to restrict yes. the movement. You need to change your form. Recognise how can I make that fit that? Yeah? yeah? Go. Just ask yourself a question. Because the whole point of this drill is not just restricted striking and development during the restriction, it's the whole thing. In order for me to adapt to physical skill, I need to have the right mindset that accompanies its success. Yes? Mm. So imagine you're in a dire situation where a shit and fan are about to meet. Is what you did, because let's say you find yourself at that kind of confinement, enough to stop the threat. Mm. Ask yourself in your brain right now, if the last rep I finished on, would it have worked? If the answer is well, maybe, then get that to the drawing board and make sure that you know. If you already know, well then you know. And if you think not, then fix the not. But imagine the situation, so you're with a significant other, You've been accosted by two people in a tight cornered space. You've got one person behind you you're trying to protect. And you've got about 1.5 seconds to drop both threats from this restriction, left and right. Is what you just did enough to do that? Because if it isn't, you're dead. And the person you're with is dead. So think about it that way, right? Then imagine taking a magical Etsy sketch and shaking it. So influence, first of all, I've got to say for this drill, this module that I'm formulating, comes from Kevin Sikors, Combat Sistema. And he just did something restricted in the drill and he used the kind of terminology that I'm talking about to attach mindset. It's a massive influence from him. And I'm seeing where I go with it, right? So the idea is that what you just did didn't work. But if you had a magical etch-a-sketch, as he says, that you just shook 
and it's blank again, and you've got one more chance. One more chance to find yourself in that situation with significant others behind you. You're in a confined space and there's two threats you've got to drop now. How much more fuck you would you end added to that? Mm. How much additional intent, speed, power, aggression, and determination would you find if you had that one more magical chance? Right? That's what I want you to show me now. So I want you to show me, just take your two pads, same kind of restriction, and you can mix the shots up a little. Put them how you want them, hit with whatever shape fits. And I want you to make sure that every shot <coughs> is significant. <coughs> that you're doing <coughs> is <coughs> going to do the job. Does that make sense? <coughs> Find a fuck you and multiply the volume now from what you last just did by 10. Now ask yourself the same question. Is what I've just done enough to get me and her safe? If not, why not fix it? Got it? chance to reset or anything else, yeah? The progression to that would be, you would then have any one of them, while they're feeding you a shot, give you a shot, 
So inside of this dynamic, you've got cover here, cover here. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's where we're going. Whether we're getting there through this one lesson, probably not, but we'll get here. So you're going to take two people, four pads in total. Right? So whatever target he feeds me rear line, he'll tap me to give me a stimuli. I'll turn the cover to see it. So me and that one, I'll strike the worm tools closest. So we're off on the back line option. Get to somewhere else. Here. 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 I might work from here. You could also include a low line if you wanted to. But for now, let's keep it high line. So it's the same drill. Let me put you inside. Make sure we're going to break. We're going to feed him on this confinement. Still stay sort of tight. Box in like that. Yeah. So make the baby go in. You're going to feed him frontal targets. Okay, 45 degrees there. So see how you turn? You turn and look, driving and turn with the cover. Chances are it's not this, it's this, isn't it? So always get used to the habit if someone gives you stimulus from the rear. Rather than, oh, yeah, it's just a bit of a step and turn. Make distance. You can't make distance if I'm going cover. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, so here we give you a target. Remember, you've got offline tools as well. Did you see this? Yes. You've got an offline tool. It means you're covering where it's closer to the target, isn't it? The point is, I'm trying to get you to be able to hit here, 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 this motion, this motion, this motion, this motion, wherever, wherever around your body is stimulus. So you get shut from here and there's a punch coming underneath this cover, and I want to retaliate with this. But if I see him covering, boom, I want to hit him that. I want you to learn how to do that. We might even feed you a low target from the rear line, like this. Wherever I touch your body is where the target is, right? So if I'm here, so that would have been, what would that have been? That's going to be a minute. If that's here, that's that backhand hammer piece. Ah, it's there. I want you to see that. That's a very nice copy. So imagine if he's got this here, and there's a sudden encroachment because I'm dealing with somebody else, and I see a shadow. I mean, turning and doing that is not the best option. Particularly when all I have to do is put that. We can see it. Yes? Yeah. Right. So let's go inside this. Adam was up. You know how to feed this. Quite good front. Right. Put them in the middle. Let's just see what comes out. You can even add another feed. So for the purpose of this, I'll do this as well. Right. Start with you. See out the restriction. So for now, let's just do it in order. Then we can randomly mix it up. Do you think keep it maybe for the beginning a little bit slower? Because my my speed reaction wants to go into the most dominant right. rather than the so yeah. Speed. So this is not about speed. So we use a drill like this for speed. If I show you the target, I want you to hit it immediately. I don't want you to see it, then hit it. I want you to see it, oh, hit it. That's the speed. This isn't that. This is for problem solving. Right? So if I was right here with you, and I went, Nush! that would be the shot, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Straight up, boom, under the chin. But in order for you to immediately see that now, till that becomes unconsciously competent, you need to stop and assess. So let's see what that looks like. So give him a nice, close, tight shot, unrestricted. Nush! That's the best shot. Now you give him one. Nush! Right, let's try that again. You go again, different shot. Yes! Yes! Good. Yes! Good. See the deal? Yeah. That's what I want. And inside of that, I want you, if you throw a shot, just to randomly fucking throw that one in. That's all I want. But now let's do strike one. So go a bit faster. Right? So we're yes! at is where you are. Yes! 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 <laughs> you fucking all fucking said he's <laughs> <old. laughs> Come on. Nice! Yes. That's where it is, it's good. Nice! 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 Good. Get the deal? Yeah, good. Right. And now you're going to do it for two people. Alright? So, get into a group of three. 
Four pints. Let's work. You give him an uncomfortable fucking target. So make your position more uncomfortable. Put yourself into that bag and give it right behind him. Then find a way to make it less comfortable. Press! 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 stress and restriction. Not exceptionally well, under no stress. Mm. So the martial arts are an art, they're a display. So you can see a taekwondo expert fencing with his feet. Very attractive, very nice to look at. But comfort factor is zero. And the comfort factor is high rather. And the stress factor is zero. So what that means is that works under those conditions. Change those conditions, put cut in a phone box with a light off for someone trying to blade him up. Now it's the opposite. It's uncomfortable and it's fucking dangerous and it's stressful, isn't it? Yeah. You want to be able to function under high stress. Um, something happened to me, I was in the toilet cubicle, so that's the same sort of thing. Yes, so it will always be confined. I actually think about confined spaces as an advantage. Because you can't get away from me. And I can keep you close quarters. And I'll smash you off everything while I hit you with everything. So you've got to reframe how you think about confined spaces. If I had to have a situation, I'd bring you to a phone box. If I could choose the, the place, that's where it would be. No. Right? So in terms of the restriction, you want to learn, what you're learning here now is to adapt and fight well from a restricted position. So eventually, if it's just a small group, I'm going to take you up the garage for a class. Near the garage, we're, we're having two phone boxes built. And you'll do this kind of thing in there. The other stresses that you can add, first of all, as you see, low light, then strobe. Make sure nobody's epileptic. Should last your night. Yeah. Right? Put restriction, put your good arm in a sling, so now we've got now is your non-dominant. You know, put stones in your shoe, so you're fucking hobbling, simulate a bad leg. If you can fucking bang real hard and get effective dynamic out of your training from these kind of restrictions, then when the blood's in front of you bobbing up in broad daylight, it's Christmas. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So, this is what the drill's about, yes? Yep, yep. Right, so the person switched in now. So you're not fixed. You can do this. Or you can go there. There's no anywhere in this cone. So pick the tool and make sure the shot you throw would, would count 
would this shot put this cunt down or partially down before the next shot does? That's what you're looking for. Because if not, you're dead. So add the fucking intent now. Ready? Go! Rush! 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 Stay loyal to the brand. No, you, you should go look everywhere. So everyone's got something, right? Some of it you'll see and recognise it as flowery, but look deeper. So for example, in a situation like this, it's logical that whichever way you move, your hands are in proximity to your forehead all the time. They're not down here, they're here. So I can strike or I can cover. At any point, I can cover or go offensive, yes? Yeah. When I get down here, I'm confined in this threat. What you also notice is stimulus coming from all directions, so it helps turn with cover. So if you look, Casey, for example, or what now is Defence Lab, they do all these kind of motions with their hands where they fight from this position and they hit all from these kind of positions. I'm not as proficient in it as him, but I'm familiar. This belongs here. A lot of what he was doing there is stuff he's seen from Casey where he's come covering and hitting out of cover. Look there, look everywhere. But your bottom line is, what you want in your toolbox are skills that will work offensively and counter-offensively. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So look at everything. Declutter all the flower and shit, and look for the essence of what you could do with it. Particularly if you had bags of intent backing it up. Does that make sense? Yeah. Any questions on that? Right, good. Grab a quick drink, I'm going to do one more.